Hey troops, welcome to the channel Gen Dit Commando. My name's Ryan and I'm a former Royal Marines Commando from the United Kingdom and today we're sticking with the space theme and we're going to be reacting to Black Holes Explained from Birth to Death. This is really interesting guys because I'll be honest with you, I know nothing about space, uh, certainly nothing about uh, black holes in space and stuff like that so yeah I think it's pretty interesting stuff. I'm a bit of a geek at heart so uh, it's good to know this kind of stuff. Especially when you're at a bar, drinking beer, talking crap to your mates. So, uh, yeah, before we get into it, like, share, and subscribe. Members, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Your sponsorship is greatly appreciated. If you want to become a member, press the join button, guys. If you don't see a join button, but you still want to join, click the link in the description. Okay, let's go. Black holes are one of the strangest things in existence. They don't seem to make any sense at all. Where do they come from? And what happens if you fall into one? Right, I've sped this one up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to slow it down because it's on 1.5%. 1.25 is good enough, I think. These ones, I like to speed up because they do talk really slow. 1.25. Yeah, that'll do. Stars are incredibly massive collections of mostly hydrogen atoms that collapse from enormous gas clouds under their own gravity. In their core, nuclear fusion crushes hydrogen atoms into helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. Right, my brain has already blown a gasket, and I'm lost. If anyone understands this stuff, drop some comments below. Let us know the crack. This energy, in the form of radiation, pushes against gravity, maintaining a delicate balance between the two forces. As long as there is fusion in the core, a star remains stable enough. But for star... I might as well just turn my mic off, guys. In terms of reaction, it's just going to be... Stars with way more mass than our own sun, the heat and pressure at the core allow them to fuse heavier elements until they reach iron. Unlike all the elements that went before, the fusion process that creates iron doesn't generate any energy. Iron builds up at the center of the star until it reaches a critical amount, and the balance between radiation and gravity is suddenly broken. The core collapses within a... Right, if you see me nodding my head, I don't really know what I'm nodding at. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is an honest reaction. I'll be like, mm, okay, but I still don't have a clue what's going on. I'm lost, man. Fraction of a second, the star implodes, moving at about a quarter of the speed of light, feeding even more mass into the core. It's at this very moment that all the heavier elements in the universe are created as the star dies in a supernova explosion. This produces either a neutron star, or if the star is massive enough, the entire mass of the core collapses into a black hole. If you looked at a black hole, what you'd really be seeing is the event horizon. Anything that crosses the event horizon needs to be traveling faster than the speed of light to escape. In other words, it's impossible. So we just see a black sphere reflecting nothing. But if the event horizon is the black part, what is the whole part of the black hole? The singularity. Yeah. We're not sure what it is exactly. A singularity may be infinitely dense, meaning all its mass is concentrated into a single point in space with no surface or volume, or something completely different. Right now, we just don't know. It's like a dividing by zero error. By the way, black holes do not suck things up like a vacuum cleaner. If we were to swap right. the sun for an equally massive black hole, nothing much would change for Earth, except that we would freeze to death, of course. <laughs> what would happen to you if you fell into a black hole? Of course, we would freeze to death, of course. The experience of time is different around black holes. From the outside, you seem to slow down as you approach the event horizon, so time passes slower for you. At some point, you would appear to freeze in time, slowly turn red, and disappear. While from your perspective, you can watch the rest of the universe in fast forward, kind of like seeing into the future. Right now, we don't know what happens next, but we think it could be one of two things. One, you die a quick death. A black hole curves space so much that once you cross the event horizon, there is only one possible direction. You can take this literally, inside the event horizon, you can only go in one direction. It's like being in a really tight alley that closes behind you after each step. The mass of a black hole is so concentrated, at some point, even tiny distances of a few centimeters would mean that gravity acts with millions of times more force on different parts of your body. Your wow. cells get torn apart as your body stretches more and more until you're a hot stream of plasma, one atom wide. Two, you die a very quick death. Very soon after you cross the event horizon, you would hit a firewall and be terminated in an instant. Neither <laughs> of these options are particularly pleasant. Nah, it seems all violent, but it's all just hearsay until we actually know where it is. But who's going to be the first person to go into a black hole, guys, or in space? I mean, that's going to be... That's going to be... Uh, would it ever happen? I don't know. How soon you would die depends on the mass of the black hole. A smaller black hole would kill you before you even entered its event horizon, while you probably could travel inside a supermassive black hole for quite a while. As a rule of thumb, the further away from the singularity you are, the longer you live. Black holes come in different sizes. 
there are stellar mass black holes with a few times the mass of the Sun and the diameter of an asteroid. And then there are these supermassive black holes which are found at the heart of every galaxy and have been feeding for billions of years. Currently, the largest supermassive black hole known is S50014 plus 81, 40 billion times the mass of our Sun. It is 236.7 billion kilometers in diameter, which is 47 times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. As powerful as black holes are, they will eventually evaporate through a process called Hawking radiation. To understand how this works, we have to look at empty space. Em right, guys, how do these people even know this stuff, man? It just doesn't seem plausible to me. But then again, my intellect is that of a snail. So, yeah, please enlighten me if you are brighter. Um, the bright, just, just, just let me know if you know what this crap's on about, because I ain't got a clue, man. Empty space is not really empty, but filled with virtual particles popping into existence and annihilating each other again. When this happens right on the edge of a black hole, one of the virtual particles will be drawn into the black hole, and the other will escape and become a real particle. So the black hole is losing energy. This happens incredibly slowly at first, and gets faster as the black hole becomes smaller. When it arrives at the mass of a large asteroid, it's radiating at room temperature. When it has the mass of a mountain, it radiates with about the heat of our sun, and in the last second of its life, the black hole radiates away with the energy of billions of nuclear bombs in a huge explosion. But this process is incredibly slow. The biggest black holes we know might take up to a Google years to evaporate. This is so long that when the last black hole radiates away, nobody will be around to witness it. The universe would have become uninhabitable long before then. This is not the end of our story. There are lo do do we know that though? That's the thing. <sighs> black holes explained from birth to death. It was explained very well, articulate. Uh, yeah, I don't have a clue what what's going on really. It's just like a massive fry brain. I've got like a black hole in my brain now. Um, yeah, it was a good video. I enjoyed it again. You've probably seen a bit more of a frustrated side of my reactions because of my intellect in terms of space but hey yeah uh black holes guys i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> it's uh that's it really i'm not gonna gonna talk too much longer than that but um before we go like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to become a member and help me out a lot and sponsor the channel i'd really appreciate it press that join button or press the link in the description whilst you're there click on my other social media accounts instagram tiktok and give me a follow I'll see you in the next one. Peace.